so I'm Phil and I work at Booking Live and one of the frameworks we use there is Silverstripe. So out of curiosity, has anyone here used Silverstripe? Uh, two, nice. Uh, so that's one of the main reasons I come here to talk about Silverstripe today because I think it is a really good framework that's not used much in the UK at the moment. Uh, so Silverstripe is a framework and a CMS. You've got the option to sort of run it headless without the CMS. Uh, one of the key benefits is it's open source under the BSD license, so it's really flexible with very few restrictions on how you can use or distribute any code you write on top of it. And yeah, core benefit is it's rapid to developing, so you can put together an application really fast with Silverstripe. Uh, although it's not widely used in the UK at the moment, it is sort of very popular in New Zealand where it originates from. So it's been adopted by the New Zealand government as their official web platform. So I believe they've got uh, 230 websites from 60 public sector uh, agencies using it. Uh, so installing Silverstripe, like any modern framework now, it's sort of really quick and easy to install. You can just run a compose a create project command, or alternatively download a prepackaged zip. Uh, you're then presented with an installation page similar to what you'd get with WordPress. So you can just enter your database details and some login credentials, and then it will build your database and set up uh, the system for you. Uh, so this is just a quick screenshot of the, the CMS uh, by default. So if you're just creating a simple website and you want a CMS, you'd be ready to run uh, with that. You can just start creating your theme. Um, if alternatively you want to do some custom development, I've got uh, some screenshots here just to show you how rapid and easy it is to create a project in Silverstripe. Uh, so this here is an example of working with the database. So in the example, we're creating a news table. Uh, it's got the uh, fields, title, and content. So with just those 11 lines of code, you can then run a dev build, which is Silverstripe's uh, mechanism of updating or creating any changes you've made. And you can see the output uh, there, so it's creating the table. It's adding the ID class name, last edited and created, because all uh, data objects in Silverstripe get those fields. And then it's creating the uh, title and uh, content field. Uh, so once you've created a data object, you're probably going to want to manage it. Uh, again, with just 15 lines of code, you can create uh, the interface to uh, create or edit and delete uh, these data objects. So there you can see the, the title field and the content field. Uh, so this here is just using just the default functionality. So you can set an array of the uh, data objects you want it to manage, the URL you want it to be accessed from, and the menu title. If you wanted to use sort of any custom fields, so an example of that is we use a sort of proper code editor field for some of our functionality, you're free to replace any of those fields with sort of any alternatives you may want. Uh, you've also got the option if you don't want to use that or you want something really custom, you can just create your own admin interfaces. Um, so once you've done that, you may want to create a view just to output this data uh, to the public. Uh, so there's just three main parts of the code there. You first need to define the route. Uh, that's just a simple piece of YAML in Silverstripe. You then create the controller code. So there we've got a controller of a single action show. And that controller will take an optional parameter of ID, uh, which is defined within the URL there. So it'd be news, show, and then the news items ID. And then just create a simple template just to show the title and content. Uh, so Silverstripe's got its own templating language. One of the core bits with Silverstripe is it really wants to separate the PHP from the templating language. So unlike uh, sort of Blade and Laravel, you can't just switch to PHP within a Laravel, uh, sorry, within a Silverstripe template. Anything you want to use within the template, you have to pass to it through the controller. Uh, the templating language itself, it's got sort of all the features you'd expect it to have. It's got conditional statements. It's got loops, uh, you can bring in includes, and you can update uh, just like requirements. So you can tell it you want to include a JavaScript file or a certain CSS file. Okay. 
uh, yeah, so just to sort of summarize on the benefits of Silverstripe, it's a highly flexible CMS and framework. Uh, it just allows you to really develop applications rapidly. So if you saw with the small amount of code there, we were able to create data objects, an admin interface, and then a public page to display that information. So you could realistically knock that out sort of under 10 minutes. Uh, it's well supported by the community, so it is quite active online in the forums, and if needed, it does have commercial support from Silverstripe, the company. So you can you know, get real good support from the people who build the framework. And like I said, it's, although it's not huge in the UK at the moment, they have just opened an office here. More and more people do seem to be picking it up in the UK. And like I was saying, over sort of in uh, New Zealand and Australia, it's already got a big following over there. Um, it's a platform I've been working with for about 10 years now. So it's not a new uh, framework that's come into place, which may sort of disappear in the near future. It's been around for a long time, and it looks like it's really here to stay. And the development they're currently doing on the system is sort of really interesting. We're adding new features. They're massively improving performance. So I think it's, if you've got a project you need to develop quickly, I'd sort of really consider looking into Silverstripe. So I think that's all I've got for the talk at the moment. But if you want to know anything else about Silverstripe, if you have any questions, let me know sort of a bit later on today or contact me on LinkedIn. I'd be happy to try and answer those. Okay, thank you.